Hi! In this video we are going to talk about how to explore potential energy surface for a generic reaction. This video is part of the computational chemistry course held at the Department of Chemistry at Copenhagen University. When exploring a reaction, basically we want to start by optimizing uh, as minima the reactant and the product of the reaction. So we start with some uh, gas structures, for example, for the reactant. We choose method and the basis set that will be suitable for describing the entire reaction. And after a while, we, for example, in this case, we get minimum for the reactant with its energy. And then we can try to do the same with the, what we think should be the, the product of this reaction. In this case here we have a simple diel salder kind of reaction and we optimize it and we obtain the energy of the, of the product. Already at this point we can see how the energy of a reactant and product are relative to each other. Then analyzing the, the two structures we can come up with some gas structure that is intermediate between the two and we can try to first do a crude optimization of this gas structure, for example, using some uh, geometrical constraints. And then we refine the optimization of this structure as, as a transition state. This way we obtain also the energy of the transition state and we can see the position of it relative to reactant and product. It's important for a transition state then to compute its frequencies and to analyze what we obtain and to check that we have one vibration with imaginary frequency and to analyze the relative uh, vibration mode. This vibration mode is what is called the transition vector and we can move forward or backwards with respect to this direction. We do that by using the IRC methodology. For example, we go against the transition vector and we obtain this result. In this case, so we obtain a series of points and relative energies as structures. Or we can move, in this case, forward in the transition, with respect to the transition vector and we move towards the product. And again, we obtain a series of uh, energies and structures. Connecting all these points basically create our reaction profile. It's important to check that optimizing the last two structures at the end of the IRC, we obtain we obtain the reactant and product structures that we actually meant to look for. This way we have full reaction going from the reactant through the transition state to the product.